Welcome to question number 11 on coordinate geometry. We solve questions 1 through 10 in the previous video. This is WASI 2023 called Mathematics Now Deck Paper 2. This question says a point B to negative 1 in the lines x minus 4y plus 1 equals 0. 2x minus 3y minus 3 equals 0 are in a plane. If the lines intersect at the points Q, find the coordinates of Q, the equation of the line which passes through P and Q, the magnitude of the line segment PQ. So let's solve the A part first. So in this one, we have to find the coordinates of Q. So the equation of the lines are this and that. So we rewrite them in standard form. So x minus 4y is equal to negative 1, which is equation 1. Then the second one, we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 3, which is equation 2. So the equations are in the standard form now. Now we need to solve for x and y. So let's make x a subject in the first equation. x equal um, 4y minus 1. We can call this equation 3. So we put equation 3 in equation 2. So we get 2 into brackets. Whatever I see x, I put 4y minus 1 minus 3y is equal to 3. So let's expand. 2 times 4y is 8y minus 2 minus 3y um, is equal to right so let's continue the solution so now 8y minus 3y is 5y is equal to 3 plus 2 so y is we 5y will be equal to 5 y will be equal to 5 over 5 which is 1 so x will be equal to 4 times 1 minus 1 which is 3 so the coordinates of q are 3 and 1. So now that we know the coordinates of Q, we can find II, the equation of the line that passes through P and Q, which is given by Y minus Y1 is equal to M into X minus X1. So the Y is already in the equation minus Y1. So we can choose this as our y1 and x1. So y minus negative 1 is equal to m. So m is a gradient. We can find a gradient by m equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the y2, let's say this is y2. So 1 minus negative 1, this is y1, then 3, so over 3 minus 2. So this will give you 2 over 1, which is 2. So m is 2, then we have x minus x1, which is 2. So we are going to get y plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 4. So y will be equal to 2x minus 4 minus 1. So y will be equal to 2x minus 5. So that is the slope, slope intercept form for you. You can leave it in any other form. Perhaps um, 2x minus y is equal to 5. Or 2x minus y minus 5 equals 0. All of them are equal. They are the same. They are correct. Now we have to find the magnitude of line segment PQ. So I, 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 line, magnitude of line segment PQ is given by square root of X2 minus X1 all squared plus Y2 minus Y1 all squared. So this will be equal to square root of, um, so we found that already, um, 
we found the uh, x2 minus x1 to be 1 and the y2 minus y1 to be 2. So that will be um, 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is square root of 5. So root 5 units, the magnitude of this is equal to square root of 5. Now let's look at the D part. It says that if log x minus 2 is b is equal to log y base b minus 3, find in terms of x and b y. So log x minus 2 base b. I'm going to group it with 3. So it becomes plus 3 is equal to log y base b. Now we need to rewrite this to have a log of base b. So we have log base b x minus 2 plus 3 times log base b of b because this will give you 1. So 3 times 1 is the same as 3. So we have not changed anything. So log y base b. So this is the same as log base b x minus 2 adding to log base b b exponent 3 loss of logarithm so this is exponent 3 is equal to log base b of y now we can apply another law of logarithm log m plus log n is log m n so we are going to get log to base b x minus 2 times b cubed is equal to log base b of y. The bases are the same. We can equate this. We can log both sides to get b cube x minus 2. That is y for you. Thank you. We are not done yet. Let's go to question number 12 in the same playlist.